Hey everyone, so in my last video I did uh, roofs by footprints and uh, I got a lot of questions asked about patios. How do I do a patio roof with that using, um, because they're having a hard time using roof by footprint. So they're, in this video I'm going to show you how you're going to get into doing a patio roof um, and using the same command you would be doing for everything else for the roof by footprint. So on the patio, let's get into it real quick. So uh, when I create a roof by patio for my patio, I'm going to get back into my first floor plan. Actually, I'm going to go into a cleaner version here. And I'm going to create a roof just over my covered patio in the back. So real quick, you can do this two different ways. I'll show you both ways real quick. So the roof print or roof footprint, all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in the footprint of my patio like so and we'll trim that up and then with this drawn here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offset for my overhangs a foot six so I'm gonna offset this right here I'm going to go and make this a foot six. And I don't want to copy it. I just want to move it out like so. And the thing I don't want to do is I don't want this to be part of my slope. So I'm going to click on this line, turn off the slope on that line there. And this is going to be a problem, but I'm going to show you how to fix it real quick. We'll do it, and then I'll show you how to fix it. So from here, I'm going to make sure I'm putting my roof in the right spot. So I'm going to go to my first floor plate, and I'm going to match my roof slope as a 612 that's on the rest of my house. And we're going to alter this uh, in 3D once we get this drawn, just to show you how this works. So I'm going to hit Apply. And the reason people have a lot of questions about covered patios is, is the roof they they don't understand how to put a either a because it truly is going to sit on a glue lamp beam or a header that's what's going to sit on this the roof will sit on in a patio so they don't know how to draw that in and they don't know how to make it look right so we're going to answer all these questions in this so now i'm going to go ahead and go to your 3d view and show you what the problem was so i don't want this roof slope here so that water dies in and there's a water problem in my house here so I'm gonna edit this footprint I'm gonna go back and all I'm gonna do is say turn off my defined slopes here fix that and boom um, now if you go to your elevations the reason I set this at first floor top plate now we can look at it real quick um, is because that's where my first floor plate is and that's where I'm going to set this roof and then I'm going to have a beam that it's going to show across here or uh, you know it'll be a glue lamb or it, it, the, to look right there should be this something the roof should be sitting on something not just floating out in no man's land the weird thing is though on my first floor so on my, on my first floor um, first floor plate here my roof is sitting at the bottom of it which means so these, see the faces are not going to line up. So what I need to do there is I just need to select my roof. Um, you can do a couple different things. You can write real quick, pull a dimension. Go to annotate, pull a dimension from the top of this roof to the top of this roof. And I'm nine inches off. So all I have to do is select this roof, come over here on the base, and put in negative nine inches to drop it. And now my faces line up. But this doesn't solve the problem. So that's how I can create a roof real quick by footprint without the walls being drawn in. Now I'm going to show you how to get the header and glue lamp underneath the patios. So what you need to do now is go back to the first floor. So we can just go back to the first floor, the cleaner version. And I'm actually going to go back into architecture. I'm going to draw in walls. So before I do this, I'm going to delete this roof again to show you how it's done so go back to the first floor now I'm going to draw in a couple walls and I'm just going to make them interior walls 
um, because no one's going to see them or, or actually list them or call them out. So I'm going to go into my walls. I'm going to draw interior 2x6 basic walls. And I'll show you where I'm going to draw them here uh, one more time. Just float them out here. Don't have to be too precise with them for right now. And then I'm going to modify and align them. And I do want them to line up for my face of stud to the face of stud. And then here I want to do the end of my patio. Actually, I'm going to go my column here. So I'm going to align that to my face of stud here. And now I'm going to just align it to the wall. Or actually, extend it to the wall. And now I'm going to alter this, this wall. So I'm going to click the wall. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the, I'm going to go to top constraint. I'm going to say it's going to be unconnected, make it six feet tall. And now I'm going to put the base of this at my first floor plate but I want it to be a foot down for a foot header or beam that this is going to be sitting down. So I'm going to put it as a negative foot as my base. And boom, it will disappear. And then when I go back in, actually I'm going to undo that. I'm going to show you a trick. So I'm going to actually draw my roof right now with the walls being shown here. So now I'm going to go back into my architecture command, go to roof, by footprint, and now I'm going to select the wall command and it's already got my overhang at one foot six and now when I select these walls it already gives me that foot six overhang and going into the wall doesn't really matter we're going to trim these up and now I'm going to say this one's not going to define slope I'm going to come back in here click on these three Put it to a 612. I'm actually going to turn this one off like we talked about before. Do the same exact thing what I did before. Um, this doesn't have to go so far in the house, so if you want, you can come back and align it to the mid of the wall so it doesn't get shown through the house when you do any kind of views. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing we did last time. So I'm going to go to the first floor. I'm going to put the height. I'm going to go back up to the first floor plate and I'm gonna create it and then we're gonna drop it again so you can see how we did that again and with that being done we're gonna hit build my roof now my roofs right here in the right spot but what I'm gonna do different is now I'm gonna flex these walls the walls now I'm gonna do this just like we just talked about so it's gonna be unconnected six foot but now I'm gonna put my base at my first floor plate and boom and then well, I'm gonna grab these walls and I'm gonna say attach base to this roof so now if I go to my back view and it's a little high you can see the roofs there I need to drop them down just a little bit more actually I didn't drop them down a foot so they need to be negative one foot so that I can see that one foot beam and so now what I was talking about before, when I'm looking at the back view, I'm going to see my roof, and then I'm going to see the beam that is actually sitting on my column. This is how this roof is actually going to be built and drawn and supported. So now you can see this would be either a beam or a wall that the roof's going to sit on, and this, this beam will attach to this wall, to this column, and that's how this roof is going to be supported. So that's how it's going to be drawn correctly. And then all I'm going to do is right-click on my fascias, create similar, drop some fascias on my roof and boom so now you can see I have my patio I've got the beam it's gonna be supported by all being shown so when I go to my elevations you're gonna see my roof you're gonna see the beam right there and that's supporting the roof onto the column and that's how you do patio roofs that you can add beams or headers supporting those roofs
again, give me comments, and I'll keep adding videos for everyone's uh, comments below, and I'll just keep building uh, video tutorials in here for you guys um, to catch up on and do little hints and, and uh, cheats in Revit. Again, this is in Revit 2019 Lite. Um, have a good day, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.